This is an APC by Snyder Electric power saving battery backup. And let's take a look at this. Keeps electronics running when the power goes out. Prevents damage and losses of photo, music and video libraries, internet modems and wireless routers, digital video recorders, computers, this is 750 watts, up to 70 minutes of runtime, has 10 outlets, and a three year warranty. This box weighs about 10 pounds. And on the bottom here, it tells you the contents of what's in this box contents of package, power saving backup, 750 watts, comes with a telephone cable, a coaxial cable a USB software interface cable, and a user manual. So let's take a look inside of this box. And what you're going to need, you're going to need a knife to cut. It's taped. Now it actually comes in a different box from the shipping, but this is the manufacturer's box. I paid $75 for this on Amazon.com, and I bought two of them. One's already hooked up to my computer. Today, I'm going to hook this up to my two keyboard synthesizers. In case there's a surge, my keyboards will be protected. I'm going to pull these out. Comes packaged like that. It comes in a bag. The individual battery backup comes in a bag so I'm going to take this and here's a cable and down inside here is another cable let's see how long the cord is it's about five feet long comes with uh, quality assurance here on the side and talks about everything that past inspection we're gonna just take that off and it stops and tells you that you need to connect your battery because the battery's not connected. But it is inside already. But it's just not connected. And then there's a piece of plastic that's over the switches. We're going to pull that off. Let's make sure we have three cables. I'm going to cut that open. Okay. Telephone cable. USB cable coaxial cable, even comes with a cable tie, and uh, these are really good for organizing your cable cords. I actually have a whole bunch of these, which um, I'm going to be using today to organize my cords and to eliminate clutter. So I went ahead and bought some extra uh, cable ties, and these are great because they have Velcro. You wrap around your cables, so these cable ties come in handy. So we have all of our cables, so we're going to set those aside. Here is the installation and operations backup manual. Stop. Connect the battery. So we're just going to pull this off and show you these outlets there. It comes with a five battery outlet surge protection. One, two, three, four, five. This keeps computers, modems, routers, and office equipment, and more running when utility power is off or outside of safe levels. Hardware and data are also protected from catastrophic power spikes, surges, and electrical noise. Also includes a power-saving master outlet, the power-saving master outlet. Okay, it comes with a power on and power savings enable buttons, which are right here. This is power on and a master enabler button. And when you plug these in, it has visual indicators which illuminate. So these little buttons will illuminate to provide status information about this unit. And there's a power safe utility power exist. So when you turn it on, you'll know if it's, in, it's safe power. There'll also be a battery indicator light that will let you know that the battery backup is getting low on the battery. It has five surge protection only outlets. So you have all the surge protection only outlets. 
there, and that protects the hardware like scanners and printers and uh, catastrophic power strikes, surges, and electrical noise. And also include three power saving controlled outlets, which are here. And the warranty is um, within the paperwork here. Covers your entire backups for three years and offers a 75,000 lifetime equipment protection policy and a free technical support. So what you're going to do, you're going to have to register this product and then send this in the mail to register your product to get the warranty on this. On the side here, we can see it. You can see we have coaxial cables. Uh, coaxial cable surge protection. It safeguards the cable modem, the CAT TV converter, or the DSS receiver from backdoor surges. If you're using your cable here, this would be where you would hook up your television cable so you won't get any surge from your uh, into your TV. Now there's also a telephone right down here, a telephone or network surge protection, and this safeguards your equipment in valuable files from backdoor surges as well that's traveling along the data lines. There's also um, an additional software that you can plug into your computer and what this software does, it lets you use your computer to access additional power protection and management features on this backup. What it does is it allows you to uh, check the software to see if the battery, how low the battery is. For instance, if you are plugging in your computer or a lamp and a monitor and uh, anything else, the, the software will allow you to see how many watts you're using. Uh, if the electricity is to go out, you might, it might say you only have 14 minutes depending on how much watch you are using. It also preserves your work. Like if you're working in a software or you're programming a, a keyboard synthesizer or something, it, it allows your computer to safely shut down. It shuts down the system in the event of a power outage. And it also restarts your system when the power returns, minimizing work disruptions. Also en enables customization of your backup settings and monitors and displays the power performance of the battery status. So that's really good. It just kind of allows you to read what's going on with this. There's an indicator light right there. And if there's faulty wiring within your house or in this building that you're using this in, it will let you know that something's not correct or is at fault with the electricity or the wiring and you need to contact an electrician to correct this. Also there is a push button right here, a push button circuit breaker which provides easy recovery from an overload or short circuit. And on the bottom here is a user replaceable battery. It can be replaced with a minimal effort and recharges automatically when the unit is plugged in. Push this down and you're just going to slide this out. And the battery is already inside. But what we want to do, we're going to take this battery out and it shows you here on the side a black wire hooks to this black area here and the red wire hooks to this red wire here. So we're going to take this red wire and we're just going to plug it in. Now notice there was a little shock. There is a warning inside here that reads warning risk of electrical shock hazardous live parts inside the USB ups is energized from the battery supply even when the input AC power is disconnected and at this time it is disconnected so so you can get a little shock so be careful looks like it's plugged in and I'm going to then I'm going to push the battery back down in there's actually a groove here on the bottom the groove needs to go in between these like a little slider so we're going to set this up 
let it slide in, and then it's going to snap. So I've got the battery plugged in. Now I'm going to actually, now I'm going to take and plug in the surge protector and let's hope it works. If not, then the battery's not plugged in correctly. So we'll push that down. We plugged it in. Now I'm going to push down on the power button. Notice there is a green indicator light telling me that it's on and it's working. I'm going to take a light. I'm just going to plug this in and see if the light comes on. Make sure that it works. And the light comes on. So the battery's working and it's hooked up properly. This green indicator light shows you that it's on and it works properly. But I want to show you if it gets a low battery, there'll be a red indicator light here and the APC battery backups will make a noise. So let's take this one and I'm going to um, shut it off. One. Okay. To turn it on, you're going to go put one, two, three, four, five, and it comes on. To turn it off, you're just going to press it and hold it down for a second. One, hear that beep, and now it's off. This is an older APC battery backup. It works, but it has a low battery, and I wanted to show you what kind of sound you get and what indicator light you will see when your backup battery system is low. Okay, it's green. That is a low battery indicator light. And you hear that beeping noise? Let's turn it off. You will continuously hear that beeping noise when this is plugged in so you will know the battery needs to be replaced. You want to unplug the battery backups before you pull out the battery. So you want to, for safety, you want to unplug it. So I hope you learned something about the APC battery backup system. Again, it's 750 watts. It's up to 70 minutes of runtime. It comes with 10 outlets and a three-year warranty in software that allows you to manage how many watts is being used up on this, how much time you have left, depending on what peripherals you have plugged into this. So thanks for watching. I'm Hans Moore.